So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Imperial Night Warden. So this is the cover art of the box so far. In the back you got the traditional painting scheme, different setup of different versions of the model. Because you're also able to make more than just the traditional Night Warden. And let's open it up and take a look. This is how the box ends up opening up. Basically slides out, no cover piece on the sprues. And so we'll take a look at every single sprue individually now. So you basically get about four sprues when you get the brand new Warden. The main difference of all the sprues is this one, which has the three helmet pieces, as you can see. It has the gauntlet, which is you're able to destroy your enemy and actually fling it and actually destroy their vehicle and toss it and throw it at them. You get little assortments for the Mechanicum or Imperium that you could actually add onto your model. Got the back piece for the devastating missile launchers as you have right here. Got the assortments, more guns, top piece for the missile launcher. You end up getting the finger pieces for the gauntlet which is the iconic weapon for the Warden. Got the top piece for the anti-air. Next sprues, generic, simple Knight Titan, or Imperial Knight sprue. Get the top piece, shoulder pieces, the two main arm attachments that actually let you connect it to the main body. So in this one you have like a lot of the main pieces that do with a lot of the connections exhaust pipes, things like that, are the main main torso. And here you have the actual rear part of the torso. You have the big old cannon chainsaw for close combat. If you want to make one of the different assortments of the other knights. You also have the bottom piece for the Imperial Knight, which is the bottom base of the torso. And then you also have these two, two more helmet pieces that you can actually choose whichever face pieces that you want to actually give to your knight, more customization. And then in the final sprue we actually have, you have two feet pieces, and then you also have the one more helmet design that you want to go with. You have the main part with a little banner in the front, chest piece with the insignia that you could actually put in. You could even go with more of the Mechanicum look, as you have right here. So that will end up doing it for all the sprues. So it comes with four sprues. Next we'll be taking a look at the actual manual that you end up getting for it and then you even get the little sticker templates if you want these to actually put onto your actual night warden or whichever variation of the night that you actually want to go with so in this you actually get an actual color scheme that's all nice and bright different kind of nights that you want you got the night paladin night errata night warden night crusader and the gallant knight so Close combat, basic artillery support, things like that. And then everything is basically almost color coded throughout the whole entire booklet. So you get all the designs, do different variations for every single part of the night, which one that you want to go with, different headpieces, how they're supposed to go on to each other, all the connections, what parts that you're supposed to glue, which parts you're not supposed to glue, because there's actually some parts of the night that make it easier that you're not supposed to glue on to after because it's, if you want to magnetize it you're going to have to take quite a look but right here you get actual name for the different assortments that you could actually give you could get the Avenger Gatling Cannon the Reaper Chain Sword Thunder Gauntlet and that's just a couple of the names that you could actually or named weaponry that you could go with and right here you have the actual points cost of the actual Imperial Knight has basic rules, vehicle, walker, heavy supports, things like that, different languages, and it's basic. And then right here you have the new page to teach you how to put the warden if you want to do that one. And then now we have the knight warden rules, knight gallant, so basically whichever model you want to go with ends up telling you how to build it, then you end up getting its rule stats. And then it's just more of that throughout the whole entire booklet. 
but as you can see it has a lot of 3D modeling to let you know how it's supposed to go in together. And the only thing that I get to really grasp out of this is that there's a lot of little bits and pieces in here that you're going to have to keep track of. And this model is mostly going to have to be built before you actually start painting every single piece. And you're actually going to have to start connecting certain pieces before you even come close to even trying if you want to paint it, clean it up first, and then paint it. You're actually going to have to assemble a lot of it. And then you end up getting this nice little color scheme. What they did for certain colors, variations, they even told you the different layers of paints that they actually used into actually making the actual color. You get this color schemes, which is the different variations of those ones. And then you come to the last page, which is totally different one and all this. And there you go. So this will end up doing it for the unboxing for the Imperial Knight, which is the brand new Warden. But as well, since you bought this box, you'll also be able to make all the four different knights. Alright, see you guys later.